Hey guys, welcome to Shojip Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Simplex Noise as the plugin to, to generate a Minecraft like level. Click on this and you can download the zip. So, download, so download the zip and then you have this here, right? So, this is the folder and it has the sources, resources, source, and other files. All right, now we can create a first person or third person that's up to you uh, let's create a first person um, project so now what I have to do is you have to go to the uh, the project root folder so if I right click here uh, not here if you go to the content so this is the project right so if you have if you see the first person blueprint if you right click on it and say show in explorer it'll take you to the project and then you can you know navigate to the root of the project my project name is my project and you have config content uh, intermediate saved so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click here and create a new folder called plugins is a plural all right then i'm going to go back to my download folder where i downloaded the um, the plugin simplex noise i'm going to copy this and put it in the plugins folder and you can now i'm going to rename it to this whatever is totally up to you so make sure you this is the you, this is the project root my project and then you have config content intermediate plugins folder right that's that's something that we created and we put the uh, the plugin here simplex noise if you open it you will see this kind of files right so this should be the hierarchy all right now your project should recognize this without doing anything the way we can test is that we can go to first person blueprint blueprint and then we can do is we're gonna we're gonna right click here in the blueprints folder and we're gonna create a new actor um, blueprint class actor and name it um, voxel right is a test all right so once you have this actor we're going to double click on it open it and we're going to add a component called instance instance static mesh all right click on the instance um, static mesh on the right details window we're going to assign a static mesh I'm going to pick a cube so we have three cubes shape cube is the one I'm going to pick and then i'm going to give it a materials called grass if you don't have anything it's fine you don't have to assign any materials but it looks nice to have that uh, now i'm going to compile and save so i have the cube and materials now we are going to go to the construction script and write some code first i want to check if the plugin uh, is loaded so the way you can check is right click um, and then you can type search for simple what it means is that we have to restart our reopen our project all right so when i try to restart i see this message the folding modules are missing or built with a different engine version simplex noise would you like to rebuild them now yes this might take a while all right, so so let's see if the simple noise exists. So we're gonna to go to Voxel, the actor that we created in the construction script, right click and search for simple noise. There you go. So the plugin is loaded. So you see simple noise, all these functions. All right, so now we're going to add the function. Um, the This blueprint code is very similar to the YouTube channel name is Unreal Tefl. He created tutorials on how to create game like Minecraft. The code is very similar to that, only this small portion of it. All right, uh, I just added my own flavor, you know, put them in function, things like that to make it easy to read. So the first thing you want to do is for loops, only for loops. I'm going to copy this and paste. So we have two of them, index zero to hundred. So this number is will. We can create a variable. Um, we can say like variable name is voxel size. 
this could be integer and we can make it editable and we can assign this to this last index this one as well and if we compile it we can assign 100 okay the first step then we're going to drag this and search for simplex noise 2d drag the index of the first loop and then i'm going to multiply it with the float there's going to be we can use the same voxel size 100 we're going to do another one This is going to be the Y. Let's do this. Let's not let's not use this. I'll just manually use hundred. All right, and this will go to. All right, so now we're going to add a macro. Macro name is actor location two inputs and two outputs we're going to name it x index it's going to be integer we another one y index All right the outputs are x and then y Now I want to get the actor location. Get actor location. I'm going to divide it by an integer of 100. I'm going to break this to vector. Take the x floor it. At math floor, then we're going to take the input, the output of this class. The x index. Do the same thing for this y index and the, the y of the actor location. Multiply this now to multiply this by times float, copy and paste. Do the same thing for this. So this value is very important. So this is the we can call it voxel density, and this is going to be a float. The initial, if you compile it, we're going to say 0 0.009, and this is going to be a get. Maybe for both of this, All right? Okay. Now the output. So the output is going to be a float as well. All right, so this is pretty much it for the actual location macro. Okay, now we're going to compile and save. We're going to create a function called add noise. This will have three inputs only. noise then this is going to be x transform all of them are going to be float the third one is going to be y transform all right now what we're going to do is we're going to take the noise 
and multiply it by 10 integer. Math floor, this value. Then we're going to multiply this by 100. So this couldn't be in, uh, instead of integer, we can say like multiply it by integer, uh, multiply it by float. So this is float and it becomes float automatically. So this is going to the Z of the vector that we're creating and we have the X and Y here, right? The X transform goes to this, Y goes here. Now we're going to drag this and say add instance. All right, so if you do that, you're going to see instance static mesh to this, and the transform is going to be the return of the vector. All right, so yeah, this is pretty much it for this function. We're going to compile and save, make sure everything is correct. Now we're going to go back to our construction script and put them together so we're going to put them together we're going to add the uh, act location macro here right so the x um, the first loop index goes to the x index and the second loops index goes to the y index the output goes to the simple noise to the x y goes to the Y connector. Then we're going to add the um, the add noise function. Then we create it, right? From here to there, the target we have that noise uh, is going to be this because it's the return value goes to the noise. And then we're going to add the uh, X transform Y transform. We have this here. This goes to X transform, and this goes to Y transform. All right. Now we're going to compile and save. So this is pretty much it. Okay, this is pretty much it. Now, if you see the viewport, you should see our voxel generation. We have a nice Minecraft-like voxel landscape, right? So you, we don't have to like play it. You can just go to viewport and just it does it for you. Um, so if you increase this, uh, it's going to get bigger. Uh, make sure it consumes a lot of memory. It could crash as well. It depends. Don't go too big. And also we can use the um, this to change the density of it. So if I do like one and see the look changes. Right, if I do like say 0 0.01, uh, it looks different, right? All right, so let's give it a try. I'm going to leave it as 0 0.01, the voxel density and the voxel size. I'm going to reduce it like 100. Okay and then let's give it a try actually let's play this uh i want to well yeah before we can play it we have to um put the actor put the actor in the scene so i'm going to remove the walls so that and i'm going to place it um underneath this so if i drag it not underneath actually beside it so that i can actually below this so that I can walk you'll see details this is Android. let's make it 50 how it looks like not bad not good not bad 100 all right that's pretty good um 
Where is the density? I don't see this here. Okay, I think we have to make this editable. It should be voxel dimension. Let's rename this to vox voxel dimension. Um, this is voxel size. So this is like 100 by 100. Uh, this is going to be integer. So we can use this here. Okay, this is okay. Hmm, this doesn't have to be this could be integers, so it doesn't have to be uh but this needs to be four. Alright, let's try this. So voxel size, voxel dimension, this is editable. So let's go here. Voxel size is going to 100, so it is 100 by 100. Uh, the shape cube is 100 by 100. If you double click on it, it says right here 100 by 100 by 100. If you created the project using these, um, including the startup content, you should have these mats with you. So grass is the best thing, right? Yeah, this looks the best. Alright, I hope you guys uh, found it useful. Let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.